everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiser Reich as uh, Pele's America. Let's continue on for lessons off. So, we have lost 103,000 men just getting to Ireland. I know, it's crazy. It's, 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 it's amazing. Uh, we won't criminalize cynicalism. The future of cynicalism and longism have been decided. Labor re-education and internment camps are authorized by the Shell Congress to house suspected cynicalists indefinitely until the national emergency of the Civil War has truly ended. The American Legion has already begun to clear meeting houses and city councils of traitors. Supplies here are apparently terrible. Uh, what if I don't go through here? And don't go through there? Do they have ships around our coast? No. Root efficiency 20%. I'm not too sure why the efficiency is so bad. Also, oh, my ships. I should have... I'm gonna bring you guys over here for a quick little scout. We do see there's a lot of guys in the Isle of Man. And there's troops in Liverpool. Was there anybody in this port? No, there isn't. So I think that should mean the invasion of Scotland is basically a go, and we can also capture this port. 49. I think we can get two units off of that. We're going to get even one less there. Vision on position. I mean, I think you're all in position. You're looking pretty good to me. We're at 48% right now again. But again, if we can kill the British... If we can kill the British, we'll be looking pretty good. Again, you don't have very far to go. So just, just don't get intercepted and you should be fine. Or Federalist bombings, because of course there are. And just land over all of Britain, okay? Just all of this land. Just take it. And there's British forces trying to land their way into Ireland. So it's a good thing we already had troops in the area. It's one of those things that I was worried about. And boom. American Union States have arrived. We're here to kick ass. Bring all the purple army into here. I am going to immediately be getting a second naval invasion of blue from here into probably Cardiff for right now. Get those units ready to go. Poland has you on the right pact. All of my um, air forces go to purple instead. You're going to have to fly to, uh, to this airport. Okay, the Anton has joined the war. I still have like no negative 20%, negative 27% stability. Holy shit, we're fucking great. I do need though. Um manpower is still a major issue. 82%. We are getting more manpower, but it's still like not very fast. Any more states consolidated? No. Are they getting close? No, because resistant target is still pretty high because we're at war. If we weren't at war, this would be definitely be easier. But of course, uh, we are at war. And I think I want you guys being very aggressive. Bring troops down here. Bring troops to Newcastle. Go to Edinburgh. How much manpower is tied up in these units? God, even then, they're, they're not actually even looking good. I need... Canada! Give me garrison support. 78,000 manpower. I will. I do appreciate it. The Nicholas bombings. I, I need more troops. Which means I need 100 political power. But getting 100 political power, it ain't easy. Whatever whatever they've told you in the past, it, it's not easy to get that. Go to Newcastle. Go to Hull. Go to Norwich. And the International is now in the war. Germany, I'm just trying to think, like, what is the Nubian Federation? If Greece down here, Portugal probably is not going to last very long. And all of you should be moving your way down south. I do need to make sure, remember from our Belarus campaign, which I don't know if that episode's gone up by this point. We got to make sure that we do not lose our ports. 
It's very, very, very important that the ports stay under control at all times. I want you going straight to Hull. I mean, there's a slight chance that, um... Oh, no, you need to be here. I'm gonna bring you up north for a second. Because, again, we have a couple of cities that we would like to take. Scotland. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, seven is too many for this. Make your way down to Liverpool. Make your way down to uh, Manchester. How is the new world looking? It is looking completely okay. No signs of any enemy forces. I mean, some of you guys have manpower, but again, it's not that much. Actually, what we should be doing, I'm stupid. I should be suppressing... Um... Yeah, I should be rooting out resistance in our own country. That makes way more sense. Can I kill you? No. You're gonna surround uh, this city, but that's not really a big deal. Of course, we are suffering some uh, manpower issues. And that's to be expected, right? Mostly because, again, we have no manpower. In fact, what I'm actually gonna do is we're going to quickly uh, cut you down a little bit. Make sure, yeah, that all of you are on top priority. Send reinforcements to our units. Because, again, we lost 100,000 men trying to even get here. Because I'm bad. I mean, I guess we should have tried to destroy the British Navy faster. Maybe, maybe that's one thing that we could have uh, done better. Give me more guns. No, I lied. Haha, <laughs> funny joke. Uh, give me more motorized. Okay, I need you to stay in Roslith. And make sure that the British do not counter navally invade me. Because that would be sad. I don't even know if we need to send Green Army. Green Army can probably use for an invasion of France itself. Because I have a feeling, at the very least, that Germany can probably deal with one front on their own just fine. It's really that two-front situation they're currently dealing with that is the big concern of theirs. Which, I mean, I understand. Also, uh, go regular path. But I think I want all of you right now to hold position. I could send Green Army there. But I, I think we want another invasion in the south. That that usually uh, does pretty well, I would say. Bring you guys up north. Yeah, okay. There's four dead British troops. Happy to see it. And again, I want you just kind of moving around, taking what you can. Where are my planes? Why are they still here? Yeah, fly to this airport. Secure this area. Thank you. There's also a lot of troops in Liverpool. I'm assuming they're ready for a naval invasion somewhere. Okay, you've been dealt with. Again, we, oh, don't hit my, uh, com my computer. I don't like this position we're in. I don't like how they're trying to beat my armies, you know? If you just, like, were to accept defeat, Britain, I would be way happier with that. You guys can go in a few days. Scout! Time for you to figure out what the hell's happening down here. Okay, we do see that there is nobody in Cardiff. Okay, now there's somebody in Cardiff. What about Plymouth? No, there's nobody in Plymouth. So that's something that we can note. Okay, Bryn, I would really like if you were to stop trying to fight me. Like, I, I know that it seems obvious. But I would prefer... I mean, like, do I... I'm gonna last stand you. Again, just stay in position. And I know that Liverpool is where they're planning on offensive from, right? Yeah, they're definitely preparing a naval invasion here. That's why there's so many men. 
So somewhere in the south is where we want to strike. But where? Again, Plymouth is interesting. I mean, if we were to maybe land near London. No, they got troops there. What about Dover? They got troops in Dover as well. So my guess would be Plymouth would be the easiest choice. Okay, Rex back in the Entente will cooperate. I mean, there's literally nobody really in the Entente, so... Actually, I'm curious. Does that event still trigger for Canada? Because it shouldn't. Canada's not in the Entente. But I don't know if it's programmed to recognize they're not in the Entente. Okay, they, they actually don't have military access, so it does look at the actual faction. Now you put a tank. Britain, why do you gotta be a pain in the ass? We again, we're, our position here is secure. I want you to moving your way up north. And then after that, I need you to take this airport. There's no aircraft in there now, I'm pretty sure. But they could easily fly planes there, which I'm not happy with, right? Okay, non-aggression pack, supplies. Political power is slowly going up. And I still need manpower though, like seriously, I still need manpower. And mobilization speed seems pretty bad. Yeah, go to that area, take that. Is that actually an anti-air gun? There is anti-air guns. So go capture, go here and then capture the anti-air gun, please. Maybe we can turn it onto our side, I don't know. We actually need way more manpower. Sorry about a new army, I'm getting rid of you because I need the, these troops in uh, purple army now. Can I actually set purple army to be top priority for reinforcements? I have a feeling that there is. I just gotta remember how to actually do it. Unassigned army. Is it in settings? Reinforcement priority. I mean, I had to set it for the entire theater, unfortunately. Which I guess doesn't actually make a big difference because you guys are all in the same uh, in the same thing here. God, our manpower sucks so badly. Anything that gives me more political power. We get 100 political power from a new world power. Like a power gain, reinforcement rate, recovery rate. You do lose us a little bit of stability, but I'm okay with that right now. Again, I just want to take Cardiff. It's it's just it's such a simple request, Britain. Just let me. What about if, what about France? You know what? Congratulations, Bryn. You're free for another day. We're going to invade France now, instead. I know we have eight units here. I'm going to shrink you down to six. I'm going to shrink you down to five. Launch your naval invasion. Again, secure where we're at. Of course, they immediately put a French troop here. You son of a bitch. We're gonna have to blow them up. We're already- we're, our units are already on the way. So... Yeah, you're still in Cardiff. What about, like, Loren? And now- okay, there's nobody here, so we can land on this province. Here's my thinking, right? We, we were gonna try to push our way into you. Now you got- Jesus, such high defense. One of you needs to go to Laurent ASAP. Probably the unit that sucks less. I'm going to see if we can get the encirclement. We might lose these two units. I'm very worried we're going to lose these two troops. A purple army looks like they've gotten their reinforcements in. Do we capture those air? Do we capture the AA guns? We do. They still apparently have one, but I don't know where it is. Two out of five. 
Is it in Scapa Flow? No. Is it in the Isle of Man? It might be in the Isle of Man. But I cannot say for certain. Keep the pressure on. Move our way to Laurent. Don't you, don't you even fucking think about it. You son of a bitch. Okay, um... You might end up dying in a second. You're definitely gonna die. I mean, I guess this at least alleviates a little bit of pressure off of, uh, Germany. But I don't know by how much. Okay, you've died. Very unfortunate. I hate I hate the French. I hate the French, I hate the British, basically. I hate everyone who opposes me right now. Where's my navy? Go back up here quickly. Of course, you still got troops here. Liverpool's got a big army still. What about on this coast? You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, we, we lost our position. Uh, you absolutely hate to see it. What about Air Forces? Give me more fighters. Give me way more fighters. Like, what's going on in, say, Hull or in East Anglia? Hull's got a lot of units. This is an unnamed port. It, it means it has troops in it. What about here? They've got ports. I... Britain? You son of a gun. No, I, no, don't retreat. Second only to the chief. Archie Pele was surprised when a Roman Catholic Charles Coughlin came into the Civil Militia office to offer his service to the Commonwealth. His position has been tenuous since uh, then, as our former clansmen continue to monitor the publication of social justice. Today is different, however. Now that his radio show time slot has been taken by more important public services, his position in the chief propagandist is effectively open. To whom should this post go to? The very useful Herbert W. Armstrong? To the loyal Richard Butler? Or to an old American firster, Gerald K. Smith? Who has shown interest in turning social justice into a real Christian publication? 10% stability. I gotta go with that 10% stability. Boom. We're actually now to uh, plus negative 3%. Are any of you guys cored yet? The answer is still no, but again, we're mostly just waiting for resistance strength to decrease. And I don't know how long that's going to take. Okay, yeah, delete this. You shouldn't be over in the Labrador Sea anymore. It doesn't really do anything for you. Take you out. What? Okay, let's take it. Let's take another Gander. Charon, bro, has troops in it, but Laharve does not. Laharve looks kind of exposed right now. Now you troops are leaving. Thank you for your basic supplies. We're gonna try to send another invasion into France. Again, having... I was gonna say, like, having multiple fronts is nice. Oh, Bristol! I see that you're open right now. Actually, when does we get another technology? 64 days? I would love to get another, um, the naval tech upgrade. Uh, better naval invasions. But I do think that at least for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank everybody for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. Now enjoy, close thumbs down. If you want to subscribe, and goodbye.